Our last TikTok video has been going viral, almost at 700K, on just one video. So the girls have so many questions for you. Are you down to answer their questions? I'm down. The first question is, where can neem oil be found? Neem oil can be found at your organic grocery stores like the co-op locally in Pittsburgh, Whole Foods, and online. Okay, online. Let me take a step back for the people who didn't watch the video. So you talked about natural birth control, and you list three major ones. Can you relist those natural birth controls for the audience? Yes. The first one will be coconut oil. Okay. Unrefined and organic coconut oil is a natural spermicide. It's antifungal and antiviral. It -hmm. helps to keep yeast infections at bay, so it's great to use as a lubricant during sex for you and your partner. I want to get into the neem oil first because that's the most popular one. If the girls want to know how much are they supposed to put in the applicator? I would recommend using a whole tube. So your neem oil usually comes with a dropper. Right. And you want to fill the dropper up and then insert that dropper amount into the applicator after sex. After. I want to recommend after sex because we want to eat up the sperm. In 30 seconds. <laughs> okay, so right after, how long after sex? Wait till like 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour? I'm going to say um, the plan B uh, minute. It's a plan B minute. What is that, 72 hours? Okay. 72 hour pill. Um, no more than three days. Oh, th- days. Okay. Um, cool. Because, you know, sperm uh, sits inside of you for, well, it can live for up to two to three days. In the last interview, you talked about neem smells like shallots. How long is that smell going to last? Are we going to be smelling like shallots for a whole day? How long is it going to smell like that? Yes, at least 24 hours. So you'll smell like shallots for 24 hours? Yes. <laughs> okay, there's nothing we could do to stop the smell. You just have to thug it out. Okay, well, that's worth it, huh? You and baby or shallots. <laughs> yeah, 30 seconds. Does neem oil affect your pH balance? Neem oil does not affect your pH balance. Neem oil is used for so many things internally, especially toothpaste. So um, it has all these antifungal, antibacterial properties, and that is going to keep the pH at a healthy level and get rid of any unwanted bacteria. Oh, can I also say that when the C word, when COVID um, launched on the scene, Neem was one of the leaves that they found to cure it in Madagascar, the country in Africa. So, yeah. It's so you're saying that neem is fighting COVID? Yes. You heard it exclusively on the Naked Truth. <laughs> if you're using this to fight COVID, should this be taken orally? The best way to ingest it is orally. Um, in a tea form. You can put it in, well, in Madagascar, they were using it in a liquid form and they were putting it in a drink. Um, So ingesting is the best way because it gets into the blood. Wow. Also notice that neem, excuse me, comes in different forms. So it comes in a pill form and then also, is there a tea? So it is a plant. It comes from the tree. So it comes in a form of a tree first and then the tree has its leaves and it has its barks and it has its stems. So... We use that whole tree to make capsules, to make um, powder form, to make it a liquid form, at least three, four different ways. Do you think taking the neem capsules will be effective as inserting the neem inside your vagina? If you're using it, excuse me, as a natural birth control. I would say that inserting it in vagina is faster. I mean, that's where the sperm is, so that's where we want to target and swallowing it you know it has to go through different digestive organs till it gets into the blood and to where it's supposed to go oh wow can you use neem if you're expecting already no i would not recommend using neem if you're pregnant okay good answer one of the girls said that was like i think not but (laughs) we want to ask Teresa first and i want to be clear we are not physicians so you are more of a holistic healer I'm your holistic cousin. Here you go. Do your research because everything is not for everybody. Don't be in my comments talk about, yeah, this this didn't work. Y'all going to be babysitting. <laughs> we are not doing any babysitting. So if you use the neem capsules, how often should you take those? I would take two capsules a day okay. on a full stomach. I have seen the uh, comments. Uh, most women are using the capsules now because the liquid is tricky and it's scary and it's really strong. 
And they said there's no smell like the neem oil. Correct. Okay. So two capsules a day. Yeah. People also want to know how often can this be used before it's harmful? Harmful. If it's even harmful. Like can you ingest this or intake this too much to the point that it can be harmful to you? Natural birth control. I have to link it back to artificial birth controls. Um, okay. Just taking too much of anything can not be safe, but... I've been using neem oil for four years, and I have not experienced any pregnancies. And I probably uh, used it once a week when I was very active. Okay. I know it brings your period, and that's what it's supposed to do. Okay, it brings your period. So I'm going to skip over to grapefruit juice because you talked about that too. Some of the girls said that grapefruit juice can make their period come on a little faster. Is that true? Or is that something that you have experienced? Yes. Uh, grapefruit juice is the highest in vitamin C, maybe like over 1,000 milligrams. Okay. So it does promote bleeding, tangerine juice as well. How much should they be drinking if they're consuming the grapefruit juice? Because I know you said a gallon. You said a gallon, right? That's like an emergency contraceptive. Oh, okay, emergency. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, after being ejaculated in, um, I will take a gallon of tangerine juice or grapefruit juice because those are the highest. They're higher than orange juice. And that's just after. But you should be taking a good amount of vitamin C daily to keep your immune boosted because the vagina is a part of the immune system. So I would think that taking vitamin C every day is natural because, you know, when you're sick, you need vitamin C. So some of the girls were commenting and saying consuming too much vitamin C can be dangerous. I would say no. What would you say to I that? I would say 1,000 milligrams a day. A day. 1,000 milligrams a day, ladies. That's uh, the amount that's in your emergency capsule um, and any okay. other vitamin C supplements. In your opinion, can these holistic remedies be used as a natural birth control or used this as a Emergency contraceptive. Birth control. Natural, okay. And your most emergency would definitely be the neem oil and the vitamin C. Thank you for clarifying that. Can men take neem oil as a natural birth control? Absolutely. Men have been taking the capsules for many, many years now because there's just other benefits than natural birth control. Yes, men can take uh, neem capsules. Black seed oil is also a natural birth control. Okay, so you're hitting us with another one. Let's talk about that. Uh, a lot of people don't like the aftertaste of black seed oil. Okay. But it rids mucus. Okay. Um, it rids so many things, including keeping the immune system boosted. So we're doing um, a teaspoon a day. Okay. You can also use the rest of your contraceptives like your vitamin C and your coconut oil along with the black seed oil together. They all work really well together. So you're saying that we can take all three? All three. So let's get into the black seed oil because this is a new um, natural birth control that you're talking about today. So you're saying men and women can use this in the liquid form, right, to drink mm -hmm. and it can be used as a natural birth control. Yes. And you can also take it in the capsules. Okay, Again. ladies, you got options here. Yes, because it's all going um, orally and it's getting into the bloodstream that way. Should you be looking out for certain medications that you're using when you're using these natural birth controls? Because the girls talked about uh, blood pressure medicine and things like that. You want to be careful when you're using some of these remedies. What do you say to that? Absolutely. Um, your prescription drugs can interfere with your natural medicine um as if with anything else right yes because most prescriptions have a natural herb or plant in it we believe everything comes from the earth first so they just take it and put it in a capsule with a preservative on it to preserve the medicine is there a certain person that should stay away from the natural birth controls someone with some type of illness or anything like that your sense is natural should be fine for everyone unless it's a medication that's interfering with that. Coconut, women who have nut allergies would have to stay away from coconut. So it depends on what you're allergic to. Yeah. So research on that. So let's get into what you've been up to lately. Can we talk about your Yoni Steam Spa and what's going on with that? 
Yes. Um, Yoni Steam 412 is transitioning into a mobile spa bus. Okay. Because we're in the city of McKeesport, um, it is a city outside of Pittsburgh, we're not on the bus line. And we can't reach the women who need us the most. So we want to bring these services and products right outside our clients' and customers' front door, where they can come on to the spa bus, receive their Yoni Steams, foot detoxes, air candles, their products, their smoothies, and their teas on the spa bus. So when are you going to start services? We are raising funds um, for our spa bus. We are going with a black-owned spa bus dealership in Dallas, Texas. Okay, cool. Who has created a crowdfunding program for black businesses to raise funds for their spa bus. Okay, cool. Yes. Is this something other people can donate? Everyone can donate by logging on to my Facebook page, which is Dorisa King, D-O-R-I-S-A-K-I-N-G. And it's pinned to my page. And the campaign is called Mobilon. Oh, wow. I'm excited to hear about this. So... How do you schedule services? Is this something you schedule online? Yes. Okay. Right on to our website, www.yonisteam412.com. Hey, okay. where did you get the idea from? That's pretty cool. I think I've always wanted to go mobile. I want to go on tour because Pennsylvania is such a huge state, and there are so many towns with women who need these services. So we want to pull up at the colleges. We want to go to festivals. Um, we want to pull up at high schools, pop-ups, and we want to educate women on holistic healing. Right, so even if you got to pull up, that's what it takes, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, what <laughs> service do you offer on the spa bus? On the spa bus, we will, of course, be doing our yoni steams, our womb stimulations, where we rub on the womb and give the womb a massage and prepare for pregnancy. If there's any blocked tubes or just any spiritual blockages, we do our air candling, and we do our ionic foot detox. So we are detoxing your mind, body, and spirit. Okay. Can we buy your products on the spa bus as well? You can purchase the products on the spa bus and online on our website. Let's get into your products online. What do you have available currently? Currently, we have our male and female washes that are plant-based and really, really important because the soap on the market today is filled with so many chemicals and it causes so many of the women issues that we're suffering from today. So our male and female washes, our plant-based lubes, we have our sweet yoni teas, our vaginal tightening sticks, okay. chlorophyll and other health products. Okay, I did see the chlorophyll. Do you wanna enlighten the ladies what benefits the chlorophyll? Yes. Yeah. Chlorophyll is photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the pr process that plants go through to get their green color. So it's like drinking liquid vegetables. It's an internal deodorizer. It has your pee, underarms, poop, yoni smelling like water. It cleans out the blood, keeping the body at alkaline levels. Yes, because we need that alkaline level, huh? <laughs> Keep the box right, huh? Yes. <laughs> you got a lot of amazing things going on. What else can we expect from Miss Teresa King? What I'm really excited about is training women to become yoni steam practitioners like myself. Um, this work is really, really important. And once we train women, we'll be training generations of women to do this very important work. So um, starting July 23rd through the 24th, we have our first Yoni Steam Retreat. Okay. Here in Pittsburgh, where we'll have you in a mansion for about three days, you're going through a serious spiritual training. You'll do shadow work. You'll talk to the little girl inside of you. We're going to do yoga. We're going to do painting. And we're going to learn everything about womb health. And it'll include a yoni stool because that was really important for me when I first started. No one knew what a yoni stool was and no one could create it for me. So I am going to provide my students with a yoni stool to start their business. Okay. Is this information also available on your website? Yes. Okay. Can you name three natural herbs that you live by? Well, I have to give big ups to Neem. Yeah. Neem leaf. Um, anytime I feel off or sick I'm going to steam my face with neem and remember yoni steaming we're steaming the womb and the vagina space but the whole body needs steam so steaming your face when you're congested helps to expel all the mucus in your ears nose and throat so steaming your face with neem oil is great I mean neem leaf I don't like to put water and oil together but neem leaf tell us how we can do this 
I didn't mean to say oil because I don't like to mix oil and water. So you put the neem leaves in a pot leaves. of water. Okay. And you just boil them. And then you'll hover over the pot with a cloth or a towel over your head to trap in the steam. Cool. Where can we find neem leaves at? Neem leaves are probably growing right outside your front door. Okay. And if you ever see a plant that's interesting to you, I want you to grab your Google and um, go to the app. There is going to be a, I think I might have said this before. You did. There's going to mm-hmm. be that camera but on the side and repeating. take a picture and learn your herbs. Um, but you can definitely find it on Amazon or your local apothecary in your city. Okay. You heard it from Dorita. Okay. One more. We're going to go with the Mama Red Raspberry Leaf. Red Raspberry Leaf is the actual leaf of a raspberry. It is your womb tonic. It it tastes delicious. It is great for women in their last um, trimester of pregnancy. It helps to get the womb ready to open up and bring birth into the world. Um, It is also going to help with painful periods. It's also going to help um, strengthen and tone your womb because it is a womb tonic. Nice. Okay. And this is a just a natural herb. You have to look for it. Yes. And it should be at your local apothecary's red raspberry leaf. Let's go back to coconut oil. Because one of the girls stated that coconut oil can give you an infection. Is that true if you use too much? Um, I have anytime I'm off, anytime something's not right and I don't want to use like my other loops i'm always going to go back to coconut oil okay coconut has so many antioxidants when you're dehydrated or when you have a hangover you drink coconut water and it replenishes your electrolytes Mm -hmm. it just brings you back to life the properties of coconut unless you have a nut allergy i just don't feel that it throws you off i've never had a problem and i always recommend it to clients um, for a natural lube, if they can't afford our $45 plant-based lube. Okay. And like with anything else, if you're sensitive or something, I probably just probably wouldn't use it from what you're saying. Naturally, you don't have any issues yourself. Not unless you have a nut allergy. Uh, we know not to put coconut oil on the face. Yeah. Clogs up the pores. But here. You're like, it's cool down there. girl. Okay. So while we're talking about, you know, your box, your vagina. Last time you talked about taking care of your feminine area, you said use a good feminine wash, which you can purchase on your website, a good toner, and a moisturizer. Can you give any suggestions for as a good toner? A good toner would be rose water. Again, if you don't have any rose or flower allergies, rose water is a great toner. Um, A cucumber water Anything that's very light and natural. And again, it's just going on the outside of the vulva. That's just where the pubic hairs are, just to keep that area hydrated and freshened. Okay, and you're saying you you can use that as a toner? Yeah. This is the feminine wash. Okay. Feminine wash and the matching spray. Um, They're made with the same ingredients because we just want to keep you on a healthy pH balance. Um, One is a foam product and one is a spray product. And it helps with the long-lasting freshness from the wash. Again, it's made with the same ingredients. All right. Yeah, because I see aloe vera. That's pretty good. Coconut oil. <laughs> you said this is mine? Or just one? She said just one. <laughs> oh, thank you. It's, it's, um, it could be used all over. I use it on my face. I use it on my vulva. Okay. I use it under my underarms. I use it to freshen the air. Thank you for this. Is this available on your website as well? Okay, check Teresa out. Is there anything that you want to talk about? Anything you want the ladies to know about their feminine hygiene? Um, I really want to touch on period boot camp. Period boot camp is something that I created uh, for women who suffer from painful periods. I feel like if you prepare for your period, it should be much easier. It's almost like your friend coming in um, for a week and you want to make sure your sheets are clean and you want to make sure you have food in your refrigerator. Well, that's the same way you want to prepare for your period to come. Your period is your monthly report card. Mm -hmm. So your blood can tell a story. It tells everything from the color, the texture, and even the smell. Right. Um, I also want to recommend that women eat 
red fruits and red vegetables on their period to help replenish the blood that you lose. Again, the body is cleansing itself, so you want to eat very, very healthy so you can help with the detoxing and cleansing process. Okay. I appreciate you coming in, Dorisa, and always kicking knowledge. I'm always looking forward for you to be on here because I learned so much from you with feminine hygiene and everything. A lot of things I didn't know. And as far as I know, with the videos going viral on TikTok, the girls ain't know either. Thank you.